Good morning. Good morning. Gee, it's great to start your day with coffee with karma today. So this week, I'm focusing on AI and how it can help you on your author's journey. On Monday, I talked about how to use, I share five prompts that would help you write your book better by understanding the readers and by organizing your thoughts and even creating a first draft of an intro. Today, I'm gonna to focus on marketing. I'm gonna share five prompts to help you market your book. And this is important. You, you need to be thinking about marketing before you even start writing a book. It's part of the entire journey. And of course, I talk about that in my latest book, Serve Up Your Book, which is available for under $2 on Amazon in ebook format. Feel free to go get that. If you want to learn more about the book, you can go to karmaspence.com forward slash book for the number four AJS. So are you ready to market your book faster and easier with the help of AI? Here are five prompts to help you do that. Prompt number one will help you with social media posts. I use AI a lot with this and I even have... I, I go even deeper than this prompt will go because I share various frameworks. Like these, the, this is how I do a tweet or an X post, however you want to say that. This is how I do my LinkedIn posts. Sometimes those LinkedIn posts are so good, I turn them into emails. I mean, it's there's a conversation between me and chat, but I give it all the frameworks. But this prompt will get you started. Please act like an expert social media copywriter and generate five engaging social media posts for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter to promote my book. My book is titled, you give the book the title, and it helps the target audience solve whatever specific problem that is, include a mix of inspirational quotes, questions to engage readers, and call to action prompts. Now, if you don't want to go into those fill in those brackets, you can also upload to the prompt. This is for paid version. You can upload to, before you put in, press the enter for the prompt, upload a version of your book in text format. You can upload it in PDF, but it uses more credits that way. So just upload it as a text file and say, instead of saying my book is about blah, 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 just say my book is attached. In fact, that's actually how I generated. I uploaded a copy of Serve Up Your Book and I generated a whole bunch of ideas of what I could do to promote it. And that's how Serve Up Your Book this summer was born. And if you want to gain access to that, it's free. It's on my website. But you want if you want the direct link to that, it's got a whole bunch of videos and there's a tweet-a-thon and all sorts of cool stuff, all that help you market your book. Just get just say serve up your book this summer in a comment below and I will send it to you. Now, today's prompts are longer. So you may want those on, on in a Google Doc. And guess what? I've got you. If you would like a Google Doc with Monday's prompts and today's prompts, just drop prompts in the comments and I will send you a link so that you can download that Google Doc or copy it to your drive, whichever one you want. So the next prompt I want to share will help you write an email campaign. Please act like an expert copywriter and write a five email sequence for my upcoming book launch. The email should target your target audience and the goal to build excitement. Share the value of the book and encourage pre-orders. My book is titled, blah, and it solves, blah, Please include subject lines and calls to action. Now, other ways that, whoops, keep doing that. Other ways that you can modify that prompt so that it gives you even better results is number one, go give it a framework of how you want those five to go and then say, please acknowledge. Then once it acknowledges, okay, now do email one, now do email two, now do, e and so forth. Instead of describing your book, you can, like I said, upload a copy of your book in text format. These are different ways. This just gives you a framework and a general starting out. This will produce something really nice because I tested all these prompts to make sure that they did what I wanted them to do. And yes, they will all work. But of course, 
if you add in you to them, you can make them even better. For example, a lot of times when I'm writing longer stuff like this, I have a ban list that says, do not use words like delve and game changing. And it's not this, it's that. All those things that you don't like about AI, I have a file called the BAM file and I upload that file too. And then, so when it reads that, it goes, oh, okay, I'm not supposed to do that. And the results end is a lot more human. Sometimes I don't do that and I just edit it myself. But, and interesting enough, because I've been working with chat for several months now and version four, was it four, four, four point oh or something like that? Is start, it's starting to remember our past chats and it's, it's bringing up ideas from past chats. It's understanding how I, my language, it's getting better. It's pretty cool. So the next prompt that I want to share with you that will help you market your book is all about audience personas. Now, yes, I give you a prompt on Monday that helps you understand your audience, but this one goes a little bit deeper. So let's take a look at that one. You are a high-end marketing expert. Based on my book, book title, which helps target audience solve specific problem, please create three detailed audience personas. Include demographic information, key challenges they face, what motivates them, and how my book can help them achieve their goals. Now, there's a lot of opportunity with that prompt to go a little deeper and get better results. Like I said, with all of these, if you upload a copy of your book, and if you're going to do these in a series in the same chat, you probably only need to upload the book once or twice, because sometimes if the chat gets too long, it forgets the top of the chat. I've even lost the first part of a chat, go back to the top and it's not there anymore. So the longer the chat, the harder it gets. So you may have to re either start a new chat and re-upload your book, which might be a better idea, but play with it, experiment. That's what AI is good for. But other opportunities here would be to give it specifics of what, not just say, give me demographics, give me this, 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 give me psychographics. I want to understand this, 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 and this, or what might even be better is give it this prompt, get the result, then ask it to dive deeper into aspects of that of the results that you want more information about. Remember, chat has access to way more information than your brain does. So it can give you really interesting insights. And for, in fact, yesterday I was working with a prompt. And one thing I've noticed is that chat seems to think that my audience has this one specific fear that I, I just, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And in my conversation with it, it brought that one up again. I'm like, okay, you think this is important? Why? Why do you think this is important? And explained why. And as I was reading the why, I realized, yeah, it's spot on. Because I experienced that. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't have phrased it that way. But now I have an understanding of where my target audience, my ideal clients are. And I can share stories from my own life that show them I've been where you've been, where you are right now. And I can help get you out of that because I'm out of that now. So doing this kind of work with chat can help you see insights that it can't give you because it hasn't lived your life. But by giving, by explaining itself, its reasoning, it can turn on the light bulbs in your own mind that help you connect with your audience more deeply. Prompt number four is to help you with content strategy. Let's look at that one. Please act like an expert content strategist and suggest a content strategy for marketing my book, book title, which is aimed at target audience. And again, you can always upload your book as a text file to, and avoid that sentence. The strategy should include blog topics, social media themes, and video ideas that align with industry trends or current reader interests. The book focuses on key themes or solutions. <clears throat> so 
So what you're trying to get at with that prompt is a list of content ideas. If you want more content ideas, then go one at a time. I want blog post ideas. I want social media themes. I want video and do it separately because it's limited in, into how much it can give you with a response. So sometimes breaking it down into smaller chunks gives you better information. Then once it gives you the results, you can go, okay, well, I like this idea. Can we explore that idea more deeply? It's amazing. It's amazing what it can do. And for example, the ideas that came up for this week came from a conversation with AI about how can I talk to my audience about AI and how it can help them? I said, well, here's some ideas. And I'm like, oh, I like that idea. Let's do that one. <laughs> and the fifth and last prompt, again, if you want these prompts in a Google Doc, I mean, you can just pause the video and take a screenshot and retype it or some programs will let you copy and paste it, but then you have to co correct it because those are funny fonts and it'll probably screw up. It's free. It's free. Just drop Google, Pro Google Doc in the comments below and I will give you a link so that you can sign up to get your free copy of my Google Doc. They include all five prompts from Monday and all five prompts from today, total of 10 prompts. And with those 10 prompts, you can write a better book and market it better. There you go. Fifth prompt is to help come up with a hypothetical campaign. And the reason why you want to come up with a hypothetical campaign is it kind of narrows down the focus of things. Because remember, book marketing is a buffet. And you don't want to go up to the buffet and get a little bit of everything. Because number one, your plate isn't big enough. And number two, the flavors might not mix. I mean, who knows? You want to pick the right book marketing strategies for you, your book, and your audience. Once chat knows who you are, who your, what your book is, and who your audience is, it can give you a tailored campaign idea and framework that you can, and it often gives you something that's way more ambitious than you can do. So you can take a look at it and go, okay, I like these pieces. I'm going to focus on this. So here's the prompt. I need help brainstorming a few hypothetical book marketing campaigns for book title. My target audience is target audience. And the main problem my book solves is specific problem. Can you simulate two or three different marketing approaches, including ideas for social media, ads, and email campaign? Now, again, you can modify that prompt by uploading your book so you don't have to tell, tell it what it's about. You can also do different, if you like doing different kinds of campaigns, put those in instead of the ones that are in this sample prompt. This prompt is highly customizable. All these prompts are highly customizable, which is why I recommend that you get my Google Doc. Again, Google Doc in the comments, and I will send you the link so that you can get that. But what this does is it gives you an idea of how you can start marketing your book using whatever marketing techniques it suggests, or you suggest. You could also just say, include all best practices or include ideas for everything that I can pick and choose from. Or, it can, or you can say, list all the possible ways I can market my book and I will select three from those. Then put in, then use this prompt. Or, at, you know, something like that. You can get it to help you. I've even sometimes asked, well, out of all these things, it'll give me a list of things and it'll go, which one do you want to go with? And I'm like, you know, I'm undecided. Which one do you think my ideal audience would work the best and why? And it'll give me like, sometimes it'll give me one, sometimes it'll give me two or three, and it'll explain why it chose those. And then if you agree with the why, then you can go with its suggestion or you can move on. But it gives you insight that you may not have had before. So I hope that these five prompts are helpful. Again, if you want these and the prompts from Monday for free, it's in a Google Doc ready and waiting for you. Just drop Google Doc in the comment below and I will send you a link so that you can give me all I'm asking for is your email address. You'll subscribe to my list. You can unsubscribe at any time, but then you get this nifty ipsy pipsy google doc there you go see you on wednesday on monday no. see you on friday 
when I will be talking about magical AI strategies for authors inspired by I Dream of Genie. Da 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 da. Ciao ciao for now.